Hello friends, welcome to my channel Creative Arts. My name is Nalima and today we are going to paint this beautiful glass painting. Okay, I have already shown all the details in the video and also in the description mentioned below. So friends, let's start our glass painting. First of all, we'll take the black and white printout of our picture and then we'll be placing a glass on it okay we'll as usual secure the three sides of the glass painting using cello tape or transparent tape okay we're securing the three sides first second Now we have properly secured the three sides of our painting. As you can observe in the painting, glass colors we have to use. These are Faberlic glass colors which are water based and in this 10 shades are available. You can easily find them online or in any bookshops. Okay, We will be using two liners that is one is metallic gold glass liner and the second is black glass liner okay first of all we'll be starting by lining up from the top to the bottom of the picture okay first of all we'll fill up whole black areas and as you can observe in the picture there are some spots over the black areas which are the golden uh, color dots which are placed on it okay so we'll first be lining the whole picture with our black color except the butterflies over here which we have to outline with the golden metallic color okay now i'm starting the outlining from the top to the bottom as it is a freehand outlining you can easily go on with it you have to always keep few earbuds and a napkin to clean your liner so that the picture is clean This is the first hair part made. Also line the face here. As you can observe, there is a tiny eyelash over here. You have 
to make that eyelash also you have to completely fill up the space with a black liner okay and we can also do it later on we'll be first lining up all the hair parts Similarly, we have to complete the whole lining from the top to bottom. After that, we'll be making the golden dots on the whole linings and finally, we'll be coloring, okay? So, let me make the whole lining and I'll show you after it how does it looks, okay? Black lining completed on the picture. Now, we can start making the butterflies and for making the butterflies, this time we are going to use this silver glass liner after making the butterflies we'll be styling the hair and finally we will be completing the butterflies you already know how we always do the lining of our butterflies so let's start friends we'll be doing it from top to the bottom we will make constant lines there should not be any shivering of hand, okay? give a shape to the butterfly okay and also make the veins of the butterfly okay do not forget making the veins again we will be making the tentacles So here we have completed the silver outlinings of our butterflies and which has also got dried up and this is ready to be colored and so we will start now styling the hairs first okay 
I'll show you how you can style the hairs. You have to, okay, I'll show you. This is the liner, okay? I have already said while using the butterflies for lining. This is the silver glass liner. You have to make tiny little dots on the edges of the hair, make them continuous. You have to make these dots all over the face, surrounding face area, okay? This should be tiny little dots. Sometimes you can also uh, fill the dots inside the thin line, uh, thin hair, okay? Like this, you can start. Yeah. Again, make some big ones. If the hair size is thin, you can fill it up with the liner. If the hair size is thick, you can outline the whole hair, okay? And if you also want, you can make, you can just outline only one side. As you know, this is a freehand picture, so you can design the hair as you want to. You need not copy the whole thing. You just need. After outlining the whole picture with dots, it looks amazingly beautiful. So you should try this picture at your home, okay? According to me, you should try this picture. This is the hair. I am doing only one side because it's quite cozy. Similarly, I'll be completing the whole hair and I'll show you after completing the whole hair. But meanwhile, we can do is we can start coloring our butterflies with different shades. Okay, I'll select sky blue, amber blue, red. Okay, this is pink, tomato red and white if required to shade. to get my white color okay. for coloring we'll be using fevicrylic glass colors which are obviously water based okay you can see this clearly the colors are available in 10 shades okay I got my white now let's start from one side I'm thinking to this is a different butterfly okay this is one butterfly and this is one more butterfly so we'll make some difference which will be directly visible by the colors keeping my blue there and using my white here always keep a napkin so that you can clean if any kind of mistakes get appeared you have to be very neat and tidy while coloring because this is a reverse effect it should not get on to your liners okay okay this is one part painted this is 
is also the same butterfly so I'm going to do it with blue and white same shading got this butterfly completed now. We also got its shading. This is uh, amber blue which was used. Now this I'm going to use a sky blue for this butterfly. You know, butterflies are of varying colors, so you can color them in any colors you want because there are a variety of butterflies available, not available, found across the world. I think this is a very beautiful picture and you should try to make it. Okay, and this is very easy as well. I'm going to close it to a bit green. Yellow, I guess. Yellow is available. Yes. It's a yellow shading green butterfly. Okay. Here is our yellow shading green butterfly. We got it. Make sure there are no remainings and pink. Yeah, I like pink. Shading it with white, same here, shading it with white, okay, we'll start a white here and we'll try to give it a shading with red. Observe there should not be any remainings. I'm giving a border first with a dark maroon color. Of course, you also.
get this butterfly a beautiful shade. Okay. This petal is done now. This petal. This butterfly is also completed now with a lighter to a darker petal which is looking more beautiful. Again we will be coloring this navy blue. So think of like Let's see the combination. Beautiful shadings are appearing. I'll have some black, black. Black again. To this part. Give a border here, this blue, which will give a very pretty effect, as you can see here. Yeah, isn't it looking beautiful? I have seen the combination with green and yellow, and I will see it with green and white. It looks glorious. Right, green. 
as you can see this is just looking so fantastic I was just thinking for a yellow color butterfly my black always okay, just a bit darker shade okay we're using this just to give it a darker shade and nothing else okay it will just give it a shade This is a dark yellow. I'll give you also. Pink, yeah. Pink is missing. We can color more pink. Shades always looks beautiful, so I make them more. Drag it to an end. Okay, outline with pink. This is how our coloring part is completed now. I'll show you the final picture after making the hair styling. Okay? And you already know how to frame. You have that video in the description. 
so you can learn it from there. This is how our glass painting looks when the whole hair styling is being completed and uh, now our painting is dry so we'll gently remove the corners which were secured in the starting of the painting to get the full look of the painting okay I am gently cutting out the tapes okay and I'll also place this on the aluminium foil so that you may get a clear observation look okay this is how I removed now here you are getting the glass painting which we made I'll show you in both the ways okay this is also the perpend okay this is a very clear view you can have okay this is your final and when you finally okay, I have turned when you finally frame your glass painting it will appear in this way you can either frame your glass painting on a aluminium foil or else if you want it on a white paper or a white sheet you can also frame it in that way and if you want simply it to be transparent and place it on some window or simply uh, frame the plain picture you can see this is the whole plain picture you can also frame it it looks beautiful in any ways because the picture is damn beautiful this is the final look if you like this video please click the like button and please do subscribe my channel thank you